Hey everybody, TN Artist, Brett Tadlock. Welcome to my channel. So today's painting, as I just tongue-in-cheek called it, Tin Roof Rusted. If you know, you know. Um, so what I'm doing here is the lesson for my patrons, and it is an old rusted barn. Talking about how to use um, some of the basic tools in ArtRage to quickly lay out a you know design, like if you're trying to do a concept painting or a landscape or whatever. I did this one eight and a half by 11, or I guess that's a four for those not in the U S and, or roughly that. So, uh, just mainly used the palette knife, the roller brush, my impasto brush, uh, that you can get from, uh, gum road links are below. And like I said, I did this from my patrons links are below. So just quickly laying out some color for the background and then taking that brush, which gives a nice loose, great feel to it uh, and streaking it out to lay in some quick impressionistic shapes. So this is not a super refined, uh, realistic painting, I guess you should say. I'm really leaning more and more towards impressionistic paintings and painting style. And so one of the things that's good with those is that you can stay loose and you can kind of really play around with uh, the tools and stuff and get an idea down quickly. So here, what I wanted to show was how you can use some of the um, other tools like the selection tool to quickly lay out shapes and get an idea of where you want something and, and how to play around with it. And that's what I was doing here and showing how you can just, um, you know, uh, get some nice colors. I did have a bit of a glitch with art rage here in a second where it just would not, um, like that. It just kept not adding to it. So I had to switch to the actual add tool. Usually if you hold shift down and, and select, and draw it around it'll do it but then you can also go up there and go to the mode and change it to add so that's what i did and quickly laid it out there and then from there just um laid in the uh, base shape black and on top of that i again took my apostle brush and uh, started just blocking out some colors and the look and feel of it all and so once I've got that done, which I'll do here in a second, then I started using the pencil tool to lay out. Oh, and by the way, I turned on lock transparency there so it would stay within the shape. Uh, it's like making a mask. So then I just took the impasto brush and smeared it in there. And that gives a very much a feeling of like the old um, palette knife paintings like Bob Ross and those guys would do back in the days. I like that texture. I think it's kind of cool. And so it's part of why I made this brush. And, uh, but wanted to show how you, again, you can just quickly lay on, lay in some color, lay in some texture, and then use that as a building block to go on top of that. And so this whole painting is talking about how to do these things. So that way you can quickly get down ideas, uh, you know, similar as to what you would do if you were on location, or if you're just under a, say you've got an assignment, like you're trying to work on something for somebody and you have to get a mock-up or a concept piece done real quick and they don't want to super refine, but they want it refined enough to see where it is. And you, you know, you've got your style and you want to get it laid out quickly. Well, this is one of the ways to do it. It's just by laying out the, um, shapes quickly and then throwing some color and texture on top of it to get a good feel for it. All total, this lesson is about 45 minutes of painting and um, just discussing ways to do some tips and tricks and some ideas, the stuff that you can do. And that's what I kept going through this whole process with doing it. So I guess really um, watch the whole thing. Let me know in the comments if you have any thoughts, comments, questions on how I did something or why I did something and that kind of stuff. But you know, I don't want to sit here and just kind of babble on. So enjoy the music. Enjoy the video and let me know any feedback or comments, suggestions, questions that you have. If you have any um, need for painting tips and tricks and stuff like that, feel free to jump over to, to Patreon and subscribe there. It's three bucks a month for hours and hours of content. Ten bucks a month, you get high res uh, artwork that you can print out a copy of if you want to for yourself. Uh, anyway, enjoy the video. Thanks again. Make sure to like and subscribe and share it with others who you think could use some art tips, especially those that are getting into digital painting. Cause on this channel, I do art rage rebel and, um, some procreate as well. And so there you go. And this is one of the tools that's in art rage is a uh, perspective tool. Talk about how to, if you wanted to lay out a perspective, how you could do that with this tool. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. 
Enjoy the rest of the video. Make sure to give me some comments and questions and suggestions down below. Take care.